Hello friends, welcome in HK Tutorials and today I will tell you about the meshing methods or which method we have to prefer for which geometry. Generally the selection of method depends upon the physics preference, geometry and resources available. And for one part we can use many methods. So let's start. Go to on the mesh and drag this in the graphic area. Now it takes some time and then as well, as usual assign one name let me assign the name first method first okay now i already told you that it also provide a design modular means cad modeling software or cad modeling module in which we can model our own geometry but here i am using the geometry which i already prepared using the other software so I just import that geometry, right click on the geometry and then import geometry, browse or before importing you should convert that geometry into STEB format so it is easy to import. Okay. I am importing this rocker arm and this right sign is appearing here which shows that your geometry is successfully imported. And now double click on the mesh in order to apply mesh setting. Okay, it takes some time in order to start the meshing. So, so friends, this is the ANSYS meshing module as you already seen it before. This is our geometry. Now we start the first method and or we start from the first method which I call or which I start from ANSYS tetrahedron method. Okay this is our geometry and this is single part rocker arm okay now i will tell you about messing, tetrahedron messing what is it in this messing it will create the tetrahedral 3d type geometry and uh, by this it mess the whole body by these parts a small a small combination of tetrahedron bodies now as we already discussed about the algorithm so let's start the meshing. So in this meshing, we can use here physics preference. We let it know mechanical. This I will tell you later what is this and in the sizing. Uh, it's sizing depend on the algorithm which we are choosing here. Page confirming or page independent. So we have to insert the method. Tetrahedron method. So right click on this mesh and insert and method. Okay. Now first we have to select the geometry on which we want to apply the method. So let's select the geometry and this is the geometry. And in the geometry click once and apply. And this is the geometry is selected. Now in the method there are many methods but here we want only tetrahedron method. Click on the tetrahedron method and now it comes to algorithm means which algorithm we want here first we must using the page confirming algorithm which I already told what it will do and then we will mess it using page independent and after that we will compare what was the result or using com com this confirm page confirming or page independent method okay now here one more thing about the page confirming method is that it uses global setting i will tell global setting is in the separate tutorial so first you under listen this that it uses global setting this much is enough and method method is in inserted so we can generate this mess it will take some time okay the message generated but it is not showing in the graphic area so we click on the show mass okay this is the mass but look at here the sizing of these tetrahedrons is much very big so we have to reduce this sizing okay this look at it. so in this in order to re reduce this size we have to go to the global setting these this mess so these are the global setting when we click on the mess they, they these details appear are coming under the global setting i also cover the global setting tutorial separately but here i will tell you the settings which are necessary for this so only one setting is necessary we are we use this 
एडवांस साइज फंक्शनिंग ऑन कार्बेचर बी पुट एंड आई विल टेल दिस लेटर एंड रिलेवेंस सेंटर वी विल पुट फाइन ओके नाउ वी हैव टू अपडेट मैथ फिर विल टेक सम टाइम जनरल फ्रेंड्स दिस मेथड टेट्रा एडन मेथड इज यूज फॉर द कॉम्प्लेक्स ज्योमेट्री एंड एज यू सी दिस टेट्रा एडन बॉडीज आर क्रिएटेड with patch confirming algorithm this is nice body so it generally there will be no difference between patch confirming and patch independent but we see that this is the good machine very good machine so let me see okay now we can see the section plane to, and to see the section view of this geometry we will go to the section plane here this is the section plane option new section plane click on this now we have to define the section or define the plane on which we want to cut the our geometry to so click here i want this plane to cut our geometry click here and drag the line in order to cut the geometry and now we can see this this is our geometry okay so isometric view we can click on isometric view and this is our geometry after cutting and we can so also so you can see also the element size this is the elements or this is the tetrahedron element look at here these tetrahedrons okay we can also see we can also put off the section plane and now we can see other view of this section plane okay from this we uh, put new section plane and i can cut it from here and now let's see what is this ja okay now again we are switch of this section plane now we use the another algorithm which is known as patch independent algorithm so let's me go for the patch independent algorithm i will click on the plus sign here to expand the mesh and click on this patch confirming method now i am using here a uh, patch confirming so i i change this to patch independent but remember this patch confirming method is used global setting but patch independent method is used local setting so we have to uh, apply setting locally okay now here scope selection geometry is already selected and in the definition suppressed no our body should not suppressed method state trends we also know the algorithm and independent miss side nodes global setting uh, i will tell you global setting in the next uh, upcoming tutorials and advance maximum element size you already know that what is really size feature angle feature angle is another thing we will car in the local mesh setting mass based defeaturing it means that uh, you already know i told you about the defeaturing so when it create some problem if this geometry create some problem in the massing then it defeature that feature okay now element that okay. refinement proximity and curvature this is i will call in the upcoming tutorials and this let then default only and this smooth transition growth rate i will tell everything okay so now we have to update this it takes some time okay this is our patch independent method we have to and i already told you the, there will be generally no difference because this geometry is a clean geometry and the difference will be seen in the dirty geometry so again we can see this was section plane these are the section plane now let's see this what happens here in the previous you see uh, see or you can go back to see this element of the patch independent method here the elements are aligned because means the volume is matched first therefore they are aligned and in that are patch independent they are not aligned and also we can see this in the section second there are also the elements are aligned so and generally so i will tell you also tell that the why this size difference came in the elements 
This is because of the growth rate we will cover in this. And they are the match mass based defeaturing also. This this is the proximity and refining. Okay. So this is the tetrahedron method in which we call both algorithm page independent and page confirming. Thank you friends for watching. And keep watching this in order to understand messing in detail. Thank you friends.